everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Isha Gaming. I'm going to show you a Nintendo Switch eShop game today that I got as a review code from the developers, Illumination Games. Thank you so much. I actually reached out to you specifically, the developers, by email because this game caught my interest. It sparked my interest because it is a flight simulator. I don't often see flight simulators nowadays. Flight simulators were really popular in the 90s on the MS-DOS, uh, where I hail from actually. You know, I love my flight simulator. So, reviewing Skies of Fury today. It is originally an Android cell phone game. It is a flight combat simulator game. In this game you control both the British and the Germans in World War One. This game is set to be in 1917 in World War One. Now on the start screen here we have uh, the campaign, we have survival. You can also play split screen with your friends, that is so much fun. It says loot boxes in the bottom there, but this game includes no microtransactions. It is just a thing that stuck with the console version from the Android version. You unlock the loot boxes the more you play, so don't get fooled by the word loot boxes. The game itself, it is divided in five chapters. Each chapter has 20 missions each. 10 British missions and 10 German missions. You can level up your pilot the more you play with uh, experience points. That you can then assign skill points into three separate skill trees called Sniper, Gunner and Survivor skill tree. You can reset your skill points at any time, so don't worry about spending your skill points. There are three types of missions. They are shoot down all enemies, escort allied planes, and timed missions where you go through rings, much like Superman 64. They can all be really tricky. This game is easy in the beginning and very difficult at the end of the game. So the difficulty progresses very nicely. There are 100 missions in total. Plus you can do each of these 100 missions again in a challenge mode where you get a trophy on it. That makes it so that you have to play every mission twice. So that means 200 missions if you want to complete everything. The controls are kind of like radio controlled cars. With the right analog stick you control up and down. And on the left analog stick you control left and right. It will make sense after a little bit of playtime. But I was not used to this way of controlling my plane at first. Very confused at first. I did a live stream of this game the first time I played it. And it took me a good half hour before I really nailed the controls. And now I think they are super good. Excellent. I have full control now after a little bit of practice. Okay. With the D-pad buttons, if I can call them that, you can do maneuvers to dodge enemy projectiles. When you are being shot at, you will definitely notice. You can maneuver in directions and you can even also turn around your plane really quickly. The controls are actually really good. You can even have your allied planes to line up with you by hitting the B button when you're close to an allied plane. You have an ultimate ability. I don't really use my ultimate ability that often. I often forget about it. Um, you can hide in the clouds so that the enemy can't see you. <laughs> it's fair to say I was uh, obsessed with this game. It was so much fun. This game is, uh, in my opinion, very much worth the price. It is a fun game. It is actually a very well done game. If you have really missed flight simulators, this is a very good one. Perhaps the best flight simulator I have played. So about the graphics, they are gorgeous, breathtaking. The level are just a swap in color palette. You will kind of notice that. But the, the lighting and the colors and like the clouds, they all look exceptionally good in this game. The characters are cell shaded style. The sky and the clouds are really well done. Everything is really pretty. This game is beautiful, pretty. The sky, the city underneath you, and the clouds shooting down your enemy. It's such a nice, nice little game. 
you can change your plane's skins. You get them in the loot boxes. And also crosshairs, if you're into that sort of thing. Having a good crosshair is really satisfying. So about the music. I would say the music in this game, it sounds like some epic pirate music. It sounds like it is straight out of Pirates of the Caribbean. My stream even agreed when I played this game. The music is epic, it is actually incredibly good. I can't believe that this sort of music made it into a cell phone game. You know, let alone the game being so good on a cell phone game originally. It is actually kind of blowing my mind and it is making me think that perhaps I shouldn't be too hard on cell phone games to begin with. This game really makes me think that way. What other hidden gems are actually cell phone games that could make it to the Switch is what I'm thinking now. Like for example Morphite is a game that I loved on the Nintendo Switch. But it was originally a cell phone game. I even downloaded it on my cell phone. Surprised to see it was just that good. The sound effects are also very realistic and immersive. The verdict of this game is that I recommend it. It is very much fun. Oi! <laughs> I dropped my book. I very much recommend this game because it is fun. Uh, it is just my sort of style. I really missed flight simulators like this. And it is good. It is Isha Gaming approved. So if you give this game a chance, let me know what you think of it. I don't think you will be sorry if you're into flight simulators or just miss them in general like I did. I highly recommend this game. It is very fun. I even played it split screen when I was down visiting my sister. My sister's boyfriend and I, we played this game and uh, it was so much fun. We uh, almost couldn't stop playing. It was very, very, very solid, good. It looks good in handheld and it looks fabulous on the TV screen. <laughs> fabulous. That is what I want to say about Skies of Fury. It is probably a game that is going to go down in Nintendo Switch's history as a hidden gem. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Consider supporting me on patreon.com slash isha. That way I get to maintain my equipment and get some spending money for new games to review on my channel. Follow my Twitter, hit like and be subscribed for more. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye.